Hello designers! Since this week we're working on icons, I thought it would be fun to just record a quick video that shows you my process for how I created the Dr. Kylie logo icon that I shared with you earlier this semester. So I started out with a sketch just for my head here with a pen and paper. I took a picture of it on my phone and emailed it to myself so I could have it on my computer. I opened it in Photoshop and adjusted it a little bit so that it um, didn't, so that it had darker, but that's not something you have to do. I just did that because I was going to be sending the sketched icon to a client and I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. Uh, and so this is what I sent to the client. It was a rough digital comp with the text and this is the concept that she chose. So my next step when she chose it was to digitize the icon. So would you believe that I did most of the icon with uh, this oval and with the circle tool because I used the circle for the leaves and for the top circle. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. I'm going to do command on my Mac, control on the PC, plus the shortcut for zooming in. And I'm just going to show you how, what I did to create this. So I'm going to move my oval down. I just created it by clicking and dragging and making it to a size that looked like it would be big enough for, to create the leaves. So I'm just going to take the circle and I'm going to keep a copy of it over here so that um, I can have it later when I need it again for the other leaf. And ju it's just good to have as a backup because I, I'm going to delete parts of it when I do this. So um, I've got, I'm going to put this actually on the top. Shift command or control right bracket brings it up to the top just because now I can see where my lines are that I need to trace. So I'm going to take this, I'm following this edge on this one. So if I hold option on a Mac or alt on a PC, it's going to copy the shape. And now I'm just doing the right side of the leaf. So now this circle goes on this side and this circle goes on this side and I want to delete these sections and keep these sections. So if I hold shift with my black arrow tool and select both of them and then I'm going to do shift M which is a short shortcut for the shape builder tool. If I hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, it toggles from being add the shapes together and minus the shapes. So this is something that you learned about or will learn about in your worksheet. Um, if I have the minus on, then it's going to delete that shape. And then if I have the plus on, then it's going to add them together. So now I've created one leaf underneath there. Um, so now it's time for my next one. So I'm just going to copy this shape over so I still have that shape if I need it for later. And so that covers my top part of the leaf. And then I'm going to hold Option or Alt to do the second part. And then hold Shift, select both. Shift M for the Shape Builder tool, Option or Alt to delete. And add those two together. So now I'm going to do the circle tool again. And I'm just going to hold shift so I have a perfect circle and there's my circle part of the icon. So now I can move this out of the way and see what I'm dealing with. So now I've got my shapes here. Um, from this point, I think I might have made it a little bit skinnier or smaller just so that they weren't the exact same. Um, see here it's a little bit smaller and a little bit different angle just to make it look so it wasn't quite so perfect because leaves in nature aren't always the exact same right <laughs> um, so I was just playing with that a little bit and then I wanted to add the stem and so I actually just freehanded that with the pen tool if you look over here you can see it's kind of messy um, but basically I just took the pen tool and so P is a shortcut for pen tool and I just kind of came down, brought down here, just what a stem would look like. And then move this down to where if we look goodish and then um, that's basically where I was at. I think I might have made this one a little bit smaller 
too. So that's where I was. Then I add, I use the shape builder tool again, select all of them, shift M, add them all together into one shape. Later, I went in down here. I'll just, I'm not going to do it for the sake of time, but I, sorry, I'm zooming out a little bit here. I perfected this shape from being kind of jagged, pre-handed, just using the white arrow tool, which is A is a shortcut for that. I just came in and kind of smoothed it out, smoothed out the edges until they were how I wanted. Sometimes you have to use the convert anchor point tool too because so this one, it's got one edge that's curvy, but the other edge is not, so it creates this kind of like sharp angle. Um, or actually it's not, I just need to adjust this a tiny bit. But So I just adjusted that using the white arrow tool. The white arrow tool is a great tool to just smooth things out and perfect the shapes of things. And then I rounded the corners on the whole thing. So notice this one, there are sharp and jagged points but then this one, they're just slightly rounded. The way that I did that was I selected the shape. Then I went in and I think actually I just did it with uh, the A tool. Just slightly rounded like that. A tool is the white arrow tool. <laughs> Um, and then I change the color and ta-da, there's the final icon. So not super tricky, but using the shapes just makes it look more cohesive and professional and cleaner lines. When you try to do the whole thing with the pen tool, it, it just gets um, messier and not as professional and not as iconic, more illustrated. So that's my tutorial for you. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys have a lot of fun this week.